What's up, friends? Today I am getting to show you this incredible Evergoods box. What's in here? Hey, what's up? This is Chase uh, from the future trying my hair. I've been using this for a little while. I uh, have it packed out with all my stuff. I'm going to walk you through it on the overhead cam here in just a minute. But first, let's continue with our unboxing of this thing. It is a new sling from them. Listen, if you don't know about Evergoods, they're one of my favorite manufacturers of soft goods products. Why? The materials they use, the intensity of design and prototyping that they do means that their products just feel like effectively nothing else out there. I have to say that I really do like this stuff. This is their new mountain hip pack sling. Here's the hip pack sling and here is the Civic Access pouch. I cannot wait to get into this. Okay, it is a medium large sling, probably a medium sized sling, okay? Comparable bags I've got at the end here. I would call it a medium sling. This isn't your like small, let's just go for a hip pack thing. This is a little more serious, okay? And this is my first point on this thing. I've done all the research on this and I'm just like, dude, this is a serious fanny pack, okay? From the materials, the zips, the external material, the liner material, this is all showing off Evergood's badass wizardry of fabrics. They are showcasing a brand new material set on the back which has, ooh, it's nice. It feels good in like, I thought it might be a little more soft, like uh, like like too, you know when foam is too like, they're using a super, super like spacing air mesh thing. You can, I can just blow right through this material. So their whole gig on this was like, you're gonna be using this, for example, mountain biking, on the trails, hiking, Lots of physical activities. So they wanted to try out a back panel that was way more breathable. So you can feel in here this spacer mesh and then this material that they have on the top, but it feels nice, okay? You got a little bit of padding in the back, meaning like a little bit of, little bit of substance on that back panel. So this thing isn't just flopping around, right? It keeps its structure. We call that structure. Side buckles, one on each side. Their whole gig with this was, let's not have a big buckle in the middle. When you put it on shoulder, for example, let's make sure that it's not like a big buckle right here in the middle. Now, one of the things that you're gonna be worried about, some of you if you're wearing tank tops, going out to festivals and all that jazz, you're not gonna, there's no, there's no cover right here. This is just webbing. Now, it's really sort of a, a slick webbing, but if that was right up against skin and I was going back and forth, I'd be very quickly moving this to fanny pack mode. Fanny pack mode, just so you can see it. You can slide it around, great on body access. There's another point for the sort of seriousness of, of the pack. They designed this for on body access. I'm gonna walk you through each of the pockets and load this out in a minute. But basically there's a back one, main compar compartment there, and then this, on these compression straps, there's a stuffed pocket that goes all the way around for throwing in like a, an extra shirt or something bulkier or just warming your hands. Big fat webbing here and then this has like a little uh, a gather elastic strap, right? So you can roll it wherever you want, loop the elastic strap around so it'll just be a little bu a bullet for there. And I think if you're smart enough, you could probably figure out how to get it so it elastics down onto this back strap. But I like, I like with stuff like this, I like to leave it out because Oftentimes with the sling, I am shortening and tightening and moving, <laughs> shortening, shorting and tightening and moving around my strap a lot. Okay, why so serious? My first point is just, this is a very serious pack. This isn't just like your little Joe Rogan fanny or something. This is more of like a, you are going out to ruck around on the trails. You're going out to to like hike about. This is These guys make very serious products. Uh, designing them out, I think in Montana, real outdoorsy, ride your bike to work kind of guys, right? So that's what this whole thing is designed for. All right, comes in black and blue. YKK RC zips, was racket coil. They've all they've got like a number ten on the front, number eight on the back, and then their high tenacity nylons, which are like equal strength tear resistant from that side as well as that side that you're used to on all their bags. I just love the way that the materials feel. Ugh. 
the liner. It's lighter on the inside for visibility a little bit, you know, you've got a, anyways, I'm gonna walk you through the pockets here in just a minute. This is all just, it's a serious feeling bag. I knew that before I was coming into this because that's kind of what Evergoods makes. So know that that is, that's the case. By the way, coming in at like 120 bucks right now. So a lot of engineering and a lot of durability for that price. Let's take out my headphones, by the way. Sorry, I <laughs> didn't know I had those in. And here, this is something that's perfect for the kinds of things that I would probably put in this back pocket. Do you see the, the back pocket is designed, it has a little bit, it's just a flat pocket, slight, maybe some 3D some 3D space in there, but for the most part, this is your sort of quick access-y vibe and your admin kind of thing. Got a perfect little pouch right here for my AirPods, which I can just slide those right out of. Then I've got my notebook, taking all my notes, you know what I mean? Got my notebook, let's throw that right in there too. In here you can see the key clip as well, red, safety red. Dig that. Got my phone. Let's see if my iPhone 12 fits vertically. Yeah, it just fits vertically. I don't have the big fat daddy. I just have this one. By the way, video coming soon on wallets and like phone wallets. I've started collecting a bunch of those. If you've got any recommendations, holler in the comments. Let's just really quick see these zip pulls. I love Love, these are the same thing you're used to on all their bags, just ribbon with a knot. I don't know how, but none of my knots have come out. I haven't lost any of these. And by the way, if you do, you just get some more from them. You know, super easy to replace. But again, I have used their bags for years and I've never had one come off. What's great about it is you've just got this grip it and rip it kind of, it's, there's zero BS. It doesn't make a lot of noise. There's no zipper clicking. Right? Okay, here's my tech pouch and here's my like sort of current, just multi-use fanny pack thing. Um, this stuff, uh, what I need in here, I don't really need any of this stuff for my daily sort of ruck around thing. I might could use, for example, some of these mushroom coffee mixes from Four Sigmatic, maybe hide those in the back in case I ever need a mood lifter or something. Uh, oftentimes I'll have index cards on me cause I'll use them for quick notes and things like that as I go. So maybe I'll throw those in there as well. Then let's see, going through my fanny here. It's, but mostly this is kind of like my little ceremonial bag. Shout out to dad, dad's fanny. Shout out to dad's fanny. Pretty cool little fanny that has a water bottle pocket that comes out. I just liked this color and it's a good little good little place to put things. Then in the main compartment here, you can see there's a zippered pouch on the back, perfect for like the, I always need you, but I never want to see you kind of stuff. Like, what are you gonna put in there? By the way, in all their bags, they have this like, this nice little, like, it's sort of like military vibe, a little utilitarian vibe. Like, I think if Karl Marx wanted to, like, like we all had like fanny packs that were <laughs> mandatory. If, yeah, if Biden's like, you gotta get vaccinated and you gotta wear a sling pouch. It's like, this is the kind of like Soviet issue era <laughs> sort of, how, like 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 stamp that you want you would have on that gear. I actually love this. I have it on their Civic Half Zip, which is one of my favorite. I'll link to that below at this time code. Two big water bottles on the outside. The Civic Panel Loader, which is a square bag. Now that comes in multiple sizes that I just love. So our capacity here is like, this is probably how I would, this is my 750 milliliter Camelback shoot. This is probably how I would roll with this thing all the time. It's just a water bottle holder with a little bit of admin pouch and the Band-Aid place. Then you've got a compression strap system here that you can, whatever you put in there, you can pull it, cinch it down so there's not a lot of moving around when you're mountain biking or jogging or something. And then I had an old, I don't know where, where I haven't seen this yet since I've been back with all my stuff. A Patagonia like super thin, just like super thin that folds down into a pouch, right? I would just stuff that right into here as a sort of windbreaker kind of thing. That would be perfect in here. And I might go for a water bottle that just doesn't have one of these big clips. I could also, there's some, like on this, on this compression strap carabiner, clip something on and just have it flopping around. I wouldn't wanna like, if I was doing a real hike, if I was mountain biking around, I wouldn't wanna flow like that. Okay, now, let's see what this is like to put on. Here we go. You see me? Can you feel me near you? 
You've got that there. You can easily cinch it down. And I've got my compression straps pulling that tight. So walking around like this, I've done this before with fanny packs where you're just like, you got a little hand holder spot. You have no idea. You see those people with the poles when they're walking and walking. You can get a lot from just this dude every once in a while. Then flip it around back. Super comfortable. I've had carried lots of hip packs like this with big loads. It's not that bad. You're, you don't have any weight on your back. It's all right here on the hips. Okay. Can you see this? This is kind of cute. Do that little. Like. Okay, my straps are gathered. I can loosen it out easily. I can tighten it up from both sides if I really needed to. I think what I'd do on this one is I'd have one be my tight and, and loose, right? So everything would be probably all the way out on one of these things. And then one would be my, you know, keep it tight or keep it loose. Here I am with over the shoulder sling thing. Now, once you're locked in, it feels good. This is a little more of a shimmy, a little less of a twerk, more of a shimmy. Get a leg going. You know what I mean? Pull it around front. This is kind of uptight. This is for moving around transit style. Let's get it a little looser so I can get really co comfortable access to it. Here's everything in the front pouch. Bada boom. Here is... Everything in the back pouch, but a boom. This is killer. This is the kind of thing you don't get in a lot of slings, like a very visible access sort of pouch that's just your admin. It's flat, so you can keep everything slim like that. Get it closed. These zippers move great. I love YKK RC zips. Big number 10 on the front. Mm. Damn, girl. So let's see, if I was doing this like this, I would have this one out all the way, basically. And this is the one that I would cinch up, roll up a little bit, because I still like to be able to uncinch it quite easily. And then you've got this little ball for gripping. Careful not to hold onto the elastic too much, because it'll just pull that right off. You want to get your fingers behind that to the actual nubbin. Cinch it up, loosen it up, cinch it up. We're ready to roll. Like I said, a little more of a shimmy. You know what I mean? <laughs> How's it going, man? You come here often? No, nah, man, I just love, I love line dancing. I don't know any of the moves. I just do a shimmy, you know? It's okay, girls come talk to me. Then you know this move where it's like, as you're taking it off, you're like, boom, boom, boom. And then just, you just let the table come to you. Okay, listen, I wanna walk you through, I wanna walk you through this thing. Cause I've been using it for a little while. I've got some opinions, all right, on how to, uh, how to set, I, I, you know, every time I pack into a new bag, I kind of change how I do things a little bit. And this time was no exception. But listen, first of all, holy crap, they sent me this too. Uh, this is their tech pouch. I'll pull this little guy out because it's got two little slide things in here. I'm just walking through this super quick. This is probably the most exciting soft goods product for me in the last year. This is so sick. Check this out. You see the way that this is like got a diagonal zip which goes across and then you have another zip right here on the outside and then two pockets here. You've got a little handle on the back and on the top or on the bottom and the top. Nothing on this panel except for a hinge. That is for this. Oh. Let's do it again for the overhead. Here's how it opens up. Okay, I have not seen anything close. I should restate that. The, the Peak Designs Tech Pouch is very interesting. It does the whole accordion thing really great. I've got a bunch of tech pouches on my website that I highly recommend. This personally for me is so interesting. So here's this zipper, right? This goes into the same compartment that this top zipper goes into. Okay. You open that up and you're in this little like corner piece. All right. Which you have access to from the outside of the bag, as well as from the inside of the bag. I'm just going to do this really quick 
This is fascinating. Got my Bluetooth speakers in one of these things, couple pouches in the back, hard drive and my RAV power, links to both of these below. If you use my links, it supports the channel. Then, then this little divider thing, this can move forwards and backwards however you need it. You've got little pouches up against this side I'm not even using. You've got a zipper in the top of this little pouch. This is where I throw all sorts of little things like those USB-C adapters, an extra SD card, and then a USB micro cable, which is what these charge with. Uh, listen, all their materials feel great. This is, bro, when it's all packed out, it's like a, a brick, okay? But not in a bad way for some reason. Like here's the size and shape of it. It's padded, okay? You just throw it in. It sits on the table right next to you. Open, not, not, not a super massive space saver. You, you kind of, it takes up a bunch of space when it's open. When you close it up, it takes up a little bit less space but doesn't look as good. This, Evergoods, bro. If you buy this, use my link below, please. I am giving this the full on Chase Reeves endorsement after using it for like less than a week. I am loving this. All right, let me walk you through how I have this set up. Okay, so I haven't put anything in my stuff sack to date. I don't store anything there. Inside of my main compartment, I've got a few things going on. Now listen, I don't carry regularly on the daily like like a lot of people I know. <laughs> like actually like a few people I know I do, but like most of the people on the internet, this is not the kind of thing you normally carry. So do imagine your own space, how you'd carry it. I've got a sort of a green pouch, which is just thin and narrow. This is for some uh, herbal supplements that I take in every now and again. Little kit that I like to keep separate. Then in here, another little kit for some, some like ceremonial goods for lack of a better term. I have some essential oils, a lighter, a little bit of a thing called Sananga, which I use for my eyes occasionally, some Hape, and that's it. That's what I got in here. I went for a pouch approach. After using this for a little while, throwing everything into there, I liked to have, I mean, the space is big enough for a pouch, throwing that in, rucking around, and then I can grab these and put them into something smaller if I needed to. Then in the back here, I've got a little like a, it's like a coaster, but I use it as a little ceremonial little number for my big uh, Nirvana quartz and some, some tissue, okay? This is the area, this is the area to put like, uh, you know, I, the thing I'm missing because I'm out of them now is band-aids. I don't know if you're around kids ever. I learned something from my friend Ty. You just, just have some kids' band-aids around in case you're around a kid. If they hurt themselves at all, you put a band-aid on it. You go, would, it, would putting a band-aid on that make you feel better? You call it a boo-boo and pull out a band-aid and the dad will be sitting there like I was the other night going like, that's genius. Okay, so that's the main compartment. The much more interesting compartment for our purposes here is this admin compartment, all right? Here's everything that I have in this. I put my notebook, which is just a cheap little notebook that I got at an event, Story Brand, that I really loved, and I've been using, I just, I just grabbed it. I have preferences on notebooks. In fact, if you go to the link at the time code right now in the description, uh, I will link to my page on notebooks and pens. I also have a link there for pouches, tech pouches. Pen I'm using in here is just a simple, cheap little paper mate. Now, uh, I've got a loose $5 bill here, but that's not where that should go. I keep a little wallet here with some, uh, some money so all the cash can go in there. Like, this is not the optimum way of doing things. In fact, I'm gonna be doing a wallet video in the future here. If you have wallet preferences, I would like something slimmer than this. I've ordered a bunch, I've got a bunch here. There's like, we're gonna do a big video on wallets. So if you've got preferences on wallets, please holler in the comments. I'll try to get those in the video. Okay, check this out. I've got a couple things thrown in here. This is stuff I don't really know what to do with. Uh, and like there's key hooks on this bag, so I could I could attach these to key hooks, but I don't need to do that. I'm not a keeper. This isn't even a key to something that I use. <laughs> I don't even know what this key's to. I just have this so I don't lose this little thing, which is from True, True Key Tool, in case I ever need that. Never used it before. Same thing with this 
PS Leatherman PS something something. It's kind of nice when you need it. It's got a nail file and some tweezers and stuff. And the TSA won't take it away. It's TSA approved. Never used it. But I keep it around just in case you really need it at some point. An RX bar for when you're feeling hangry. Uh, keep myself stocked with a little bit of edibles and a Pax Era pen. My uh, Apple AirPods Pro, which I get like a little clicking sound. With like the, the, the thing is like sticks to my ear or something and then like wiggles and jiggles. It's so frustrating. So in this one, you'll see I've actually got my Jabra 65 Ts. These are terrible for phone calls, but ultimately for the money, not the most comfortable, not the most stylish, but they just work. You can use one at a time if you need to. The battery lasts a long time, but the call quality sucks. It does, it has to be said. Then I also have some index cards, which I tend to use often, and a pen. This one's from Everyman. Pretty good one because it has this, like my preferred pen is from Studio Neat, the Mark I. Again, I will link in the description below to my pen things. I don't mind this at all though because it's nice and metal. I have a some Four Sigmatic mushroom coffee mix and that is, that's it. So here's my like ruck around everyday kind of thing. If I had to get rid and just go, this is my ultimate minimal. The truth is this is my min minimal. I just, for the most part, I just carry this. I have this and like a key fob when I'm like on da in dad mode. Then this, my water bottle. Gotta have the water bottle. Half the time I have a coffee cup too with some sort of concoction from Four Sigmatic in there. Couple other notes on this. Active use for this is epic. Walking, hiking, bike riding, skateboarding even, I, it has been, on the body, locked in, nice and cinched down. These cinch straps make a big difference when you have a lot of stuff flopping around in there. I kind of wish there was a bigger unit that could pop out and get my water bottle in. Beggars can't be choosers. That would be a little bit strange on this, but it's the kind of thing that I think Evergoods could put, could pull off at some point because if I put my water bottle in here, that, that's all I'm taking. I, I have smaller water bottles, like smaller pouch water bottles that like, as you drink them, they get smaller and smaller. They're just like rubber sacks or whatever, <laughs> which is my favorite kind of sack. Ultimately, tabletop wise, this thing is huge. Getting to the restaurant and putting this on the table or on the seat behind you or something like that, it's really big, it, it, it's large. So this is an active sling. All right, let's send it back to the other chase to close us out. If you like this, please use my link below. That supports the channel. It's literally how I buy Band-Aids for my little girl. If you wanna buy some Band-Aids for my little girl, please do that. You can also buy Band-Aids for my little girl by going to buymeacoffee.com slash Chase Reeves. You could just buy me a few coffees. Or if you wanna take this relationship to the next level, <laughs> you wanna go to the next level, come to Patreon. I've got, uh, I've got a video that I've just edited and I'm gonna be putting up there, which is a studio tour of this whole place. I think you're gonna like, just for patrons. So check out patreon.com slash Chase Reeves. Shout out to all my patrons. Now, if you need another kind of bag, you wanna see what other bags that I've reviewed or that I highly, like, like I think are good. I think are good enough for you. Uh, check out matterful.co slash slings, okay? Slings, all right? You can see there's a bunch of other sort of daily carry type of bags you can check out here or like links there. Now. This Chrome Cadet right here, that's a good option to compare to this. A little bit simpler construction, but nice like sort of medium, medium size. You've also got another thing that I really like is this moment, moment Rugged Sling right here. That's a good one. Same with their smaller sling. I like the Moment stuff. Mystery Ranch make great fanny packs. You could check all this stuff out there. The Bellroy Sling is like is a little more casual, like you might really like sort of more of a, of a casual vibe. I really like that Bellroy sling as well as like the Air Tech sling. This Metro Monger, Green Room 136 Metro Monger, that's, that's epic. If you wanna go a little bit bigger and it's a, only an over the shoulder bag, Boundary Arc Light. Anyways, I've got links to all of those there with some information on each one. You can kind of compare and contrast. If you do purchase any of these things, as always, please use my links because uh, that's literally how how I'm like apparently planning for my future. <laughs> is that what, is this, am I being, is this,
Is this not a smart move? Okay, I know you have a lot of options oh, when you fly the friendly skies. By the way, that puffy, if you like that, that's from Marine Layer. I will link below to Marine Layer. I also have an affiliate link with them. And uh, that's, I don't know if they're making it right now, but it's like made from like recycled water bottles or something. Check out the link below. Uh, how you doing? Let's see these books that I got out right here. Awareness by Anthony DeMello. If you are on the path, my friend, this, whew, Bill Plotkin, The Journey of Soul Initiation. <laughs> This is a little, this, is, this might be a little much, even for me, but I'm actually really digging the perspective. This is a little bit the advanced course, but man, I, I think I'm, I'm advanced. And then you read something like this and you're like, oh my God, I'm trying to make like enlightenment cool or trying to, trying to, trying to be sexy about, about the nature of existence is like trying to get more Instagram followers for Jesus or something like that. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm sure I've been talking for long enough here. Anything else you want to talk about? Shout out in the comments. I like this bag. I'm going to try this out for a little while. It just feels nice to have something that's really well considered and designed well. You know what I mean? It may not be designed perfect for the kinds of stuff that I carry around. Like this is just a sack that happens to have a little water bottle thing that I never use except for I opened it up the other day. You know, what I've done before is I've just had a tech pouch that I carry around kind of like this. You know, it's like your wallet and everything. My nutsack, not my nutsack, my, there's a bad company called Nutsack, <laughs> my 11 inch mag satch. I'll link to that below. I've loved that. I carry it just kind of like by the corner without a strap. Can fit my iPad in it. You know, that kind of vibe. I've done that before. This idea of like personal carry depends on how active your lifestyle. Shout out to any of you who saw the music video in the beginning of the Air Active Collection. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram if you want some more of those music videos. Uh, and, and Patreon as well. I got to find out. I got I to put those as, as MP3s for the patrons. All right. Let's quit it there. I always like to put a little bit of like ramble at the end, you know, because like, what are you doing? You still watching this thing? And so that people, <laughs> when they see like, oh, this guy's doing a video on a fanny pack and it's 19 minutes. <laughs> I'm just going to give my life away to this. And then my, my hope is by the end of it, people are like, how did that happen? <laughs> and you know, maybe subscribe. Is that you? This is your call to action. Come on down. Are you wondering? What kinds of things you should put in your life so that you can minimize, get rid of the scruffy, you know, overwrought, underdesigned, eco-killing kind of products that you've got in your life. I see that hand. Yes. Let's get rid of it all. Let's wash it away. Follow me here on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. I'm not on Snapchat, but I probably should. I don't know. Clubhouse. I don't do anything on the Clubhouse. Uh, what else? Uh, Patreon. Get, become a patron. Become a patron of the good work that we're doing here. And make sure you get on the email list at matterful.co. Because that's the only way I can actually email you. And actually send you something. And I don't ever do it, basically, except for when there's a giveaway. So, I still need to get out my email to all the companies that we're doing the giveaway for. <laughs> we're going to do a huge giveaway. And I'm sort of making this video because I'm sort of resisting like all the work that I have to do to get that to work. But we're going we're gonna to do it live too. We're going to present all the winners live. So if you're not on the email list at matterful.co, do that now. Shout out to everybody who's out there hustling, trying to make it work, who are finding gratitude in the midst of cynicism. You know, it's so easy to be cynical. Who are finding potential and possibility in the, in the like, in the sea of despair, you know, it can be so easy to get all despaired out. And I see that hand, you know, if you're, if you're rocking in the despair world, put on your sweatpants, watch some Netflix, you know, for as long as you want. And in the morning, let's start off the morning. Well, you know, let's do as, let's, let's, let's optimize for some good sleep. You guys. So that's the number one drug to be addicted to in your life is sleep. That is a, that is something you optimize for. If you are into any sort of pills or substances or practices that do not help you get better sleep at night, that in fact hurt your sleep, let's really consider the benefit of those to our lives. Let's really do a little bit of discipline so we can set this central nervous system up well for having a strong tomorrow. You know, that's really all we have is we just stack up a bunch of tomorrows 
one at a time and it starts right now. So if this is late night for you, if you're looking at a screen late night, we know for sure that ain't good. Get some blue blockers or something. Get some like glasses that block that. But, you know, maybe better yet, sit outside, read a book, you know, do something. I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to preach to you about what you should or shouldn't be doing. You shouldn't be. There's a lot of stuff I do that maybe shouldn't be doing, you know. So we figure it out one step at a time. Let's stack. Let's work on stacking some tomorrows together. And my one little like piece of advice is like optimize for good sleep because nothing will change your life more than stringing together a few good sleeps that aren't like forced on you by CBD or melatonin or some sort of like support or aid that can be really helpful when you need it, but just kind of adds up to like a lifestyle of popping those kinds of things, right? We really want is a central nervous system that is tuned for what's been going on on this planet for over a billion fucking years, which by the way is where everything about you has evolved. But what's been going on the entire time is this planet's turning and there's a massive ball of burning gas. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Uh, they call it the sun. I don't know what it calls itself, but our planet's spinning. So we are constantly cycling between the darkness and the light. Darkness, okay? Your central nervous system has been tuned by that cycle for forever. It was not safe to go out at night for us. We're not nocturnal predators like that, uh, as far as as far as we know, right? So we lock in. We and what do you do when you're locked in, caveman style? There's no there's there's not a lot going on in TikTok, <laughs> 35 million years ago, right? By the way, there was no there's no alternative light sources. So you were just you just your nervous system was so tuned up for getting in touch with how the sun rises and sets and all that stuff. Again, I, I don't wanna be preaching to you, but it really means a lot when you have a central nervous system and a body that is ready for today, you know? So do something today that sets you up good for tomorrow. That's all I'm saying. One of the things I learned about depression, and I'll leave you with this. One of the things I learned about depression was I needed to tell my wife about it. I'm feeling depressed. And, and I really needed her not to like try to fix it. And then it was like sweatpants and Netflix. Like I, I later on had, a, had a, a therapist that was like, have you ever thought that maybe you're not depressed, you're just exhausted? <laughs> All right, y'all. Talk to you later. Be yourself. Make good choices. Bye-bye.